Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is, my friend. Time for the blog that truly blazes. Here on this rainy day in South Florida, June the 26th of 2015, here at Modern Zen. This will be my last blog from this location. After nine years of faithfully serving the community, Modern Zen is closing. We are closing this weekend, but the blog will continue. The blog will always go on as long as you want it. I am going to do it. I am dedicated to this blog, and I appreciate your support, your dedication, and all of you that have been coming into Griffin's Loft in the past and Modern Zen when it changed hands. And there's always a time when things have to change, when we have to get rid of old energy and go into the new, and that's what we're doing here. So this is not a sad time. This is a time of release and a time of moving forward. But as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and what lies ahead of us as the week progresses. So do stay tuned. Indeed, an empowering ride. That's right. The first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, the card that we had was Lust, or Strength, in the Rider Waite Tarot. Now, this card is all about our personal empowerment. It's all about Leo. Leo is a solar ruled sign that is full of confidence, verve, enthusiasm, a strong sense of life's direction, a strong sense of life's course, a sense of being in touch with our true will, with what we really want to do. So you may have felt very powerful the last few days. You may have felt stronger than you have in a long time with that energy coursing through you. Of course, we just had the summer solstice last weekend. All right. So this is a time of great solar power. The summer solstice being the longest day of the year. And now what we need to do is we need to persevere and just persist moving forward one step at a time as we will see in the next card. That's right. The next card, the card of the present, what we're coming into now is the three of discs or pentacles called works and attributed to Mars and Capricorn. It is the power of persistence. Mars and Capricorn is the epitome of persistence. Mars is strength aggressiveness, endurance. Capricorn too endures. Ruled by Saturn, it carefully structures, it carefully plans, it does what it needs to do to move forward. So our focus is going to be on manifesting. Okay? Manifesting whatever it is that we need, we're going to be manifesting that. We're going to be putting that energy into concrete form. What we plan, we're not going to make it happen. It's the whole nature of the three the number three is manifestation, like the triangle, okay, of manifestation. We are going to be manifesting. So if you've been working on something, it is going to be coming along. You may see it completed, or at least if you are thinking of something and haven't dealt with it, you're going to start, now take concrete steps. That's for sure what's going to be happening as this week progresses. It's going to put us in a very, very, very strong position. And as we see... This comes out for us in a wonderful way as the week progresses. That's right. The third and final card is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is Jupiter and Leo. It's expansion. It's going into new directions. It's having our lives opening up in front of us and having that vibrancy, that strength, that courage, and that ability to move forward. So this is a time where we can be filled with power, full of vibrant life, ready to take on new challenges, go in new directions, do new things. Well, there you go. The blog blazed. You blazed with it. As I said, this is not the finish of the blog. I'll probably be shooting from my house is the way that it's going to go for now, and that's fine. Again, I appreciate your support. I appreciate your love. And until I see you next week, which I will, many, many blessings.